In the previous example involving estimating the fat content for these low-fat hot dogs that have been introduced, uh, we found a confidence interval that had a margin of error of about 1.86 grams. In this example, we're asked to determine the sample size that would be required if we wanted to drop the margin of error down to just one gram. So what we do is use our formula for sample size here, and it requires three pieces of information. So first, the new margin of error we want is just m equals one gram. Okay, that's certainly fine. Remember from before, our standard deviation was three grams. So that's sigma, and c equals 95%. So a 95% confidence interval. We're not changing the confidence level, but that translates into a z star value of 1.96. So we also confirmed that in the earlier example. So you can go back and look at that if you're wondering how we got across from 95% to this number. Okay, well really that's everything that's needed then. All we do is plug in to the formula. So we've got n equals 1.96 times 3 all divided by 1. And don't forget to square everything. And that turns out to be uh, about 34 and a half, 34.57. Now with these sample size calculations, what you should always do is round up, because that's more conservative. So we would take n equals to 35 for our sample size. We obviously can't have a sample of size 34.57, so we go up to 35. 